Shalom, welcome back to Dining with Zion. And today we are going to be making some boneless prime bread, a delicious recipe that you guys definitely don't want to miss. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and also click that notification down below. And with that, I will see you in the recipe. So let's start out with some ingredients. I have my boneless prime rib. I have my black pepper. I have mesquite liquid smoke. I have granulated garlic and also Montreal steak seasoning and some olive oil. We're gonna be using this olive oil to base the meat. Now, I wanna mention that I do like to keep a little bit of fat on this and you're gonna see exactly why just keep watching so let's go ahead and lay this meat down after washing it and cleaning it and with fresh hands I'm gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil to base the meat now this is going to help all of the seasonings adhere to the meat so make sure when you do pour the olive oil on the meat massage it all over that means on the sides the edges and also in between any crevices of the meat so now what you want to do is repeat the same process on the opposite side you want to go ahead and pour the olive oil onto the prime rib and you want to massage it into every crevice that is in this meat and the reasons being is because you want when you season you want it to adhere to all of the meat and there is nothing like a well seasoned prime rib now I'm going to go in with a little bit of liquid smoke which is mesquite that is the flavor that I'm using this is going to give it an extra smoke delicious taste so i would suggest using this you're only going to use a couple of drops trust me just a couple of drops goes a long way and you're going to do the same thing massage that in to every crevice and from here you're just going to repeat the process on the opposite side. Now I'm showing you right here that I do keep some of the fat on and the reasons are you'll a little later in this video but for right now let's get on with the process. I am just going to put a little bit of liquid smoke on top of the prime rib and as you can see I'm just massaging it in and that's what you want to do get the sides and also every single crevice now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder and I wanted to mention do not rub the seasoning in at this point at this point you are just going to allow the seasoning to do what it needs to do which is simply just adhere to the meat now as you can see I'm seasoning all sides of this prime rib and the reasons being is because we want to elevate the flavors in this prime rib so all you're going to do is just season it and then later on you're going to see what I do so I'm going to flip it over and just repeat the process Now I'm gonna come in with a little bit of ground black pepper and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to season it. That's it. No massaging it in at all. And I'm gonna make sure I get the sides as well too. Along with the top of the prime rib.
Now this seasoning is one of the star of the shows. Montreal Steak Seasoning. If you guys have not tried this, I am not sponsored by them, but you guys have to try the seasoning. It is so good, it is so delicious, it elevates the meat, and it just brings out so many in-depth flavors. And like so, I'm just gonna go ahead and season this meat completely all over, from the sides, to the back, and to the front. Again, do not rub the seasonings in. We're just going to simply pat them in as you can see me doing. And what you wanna do is you want to go ahead after you're done adding all of your seasonings to this meat, just give it a good pat and that's it. Let it rest. You're gonna turn it over and you're gonna season the other side of the prime rib. Make sure that you get it to all of the crevices because you want that seasoning to come through the meat. Please make sure you season your food. Now once you're done giving it a pat down and you're patting in your seasonings, you're going to go ahead and put this inside of a cooking dish and just let this sit in the fridge for approximately about 30 minutes or so for it to marinate. And once you're done with the 30 minutes, we're going to take it out of the fridge and we're going to smoke it at 225 degrees for four hours. Now, as you can see, the four hours are done and look at the juices in this meat. Oh my God, it smells so amazing if you guys could smell this prime rib. But what I'm gonna do is I wanted to give it an extra char and my husband handles this part of it. So we're going to remove this prime rib outside of the dish and put it on the grill and you're gonna see what happens next. Keep watching. So as you can see, he's putting uh -huh. the torch to the action. This is going to elevate the taste so much. And it's okay, don't have a torch at all. If you guys want this recipe done in the oven, let me know in the comment section. Let me stop recording real quick. I'm gonna flip it open. You recording now? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, shoot. Ah! Oh, and as you guys can see, the final verdict of this prime rib, look at the char on that. And as he is cutting it, it feels like butter to cut. And you guys, when I tell you, look at those juices that comes off of this prime rib. Look at the smoke ring that's inside of it right now. Oh my God, you guys, this recipe is absolutely amazing. And look, I'm just gonna give you a close up of the juices. So if you guys definitely like this video, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also with that, stay strong, stay healthy, stay in the spirit, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out.